Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the door boot seal in a Samsung washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 5 16 inch nut driver, a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers, a pair of pliers, socket wrench with an extension and 13 mm head, and a pair of wise grips. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new door boot seal. The door boot seal flexibly connects the washer outer tub to the washer front panel, preventing water leaks. The main reason why the door boot seal would need to be replaced is if it's damaged by foreign objects left in the pockets and, as a result, starts leaking. We need to remove the top panel. Using the 5 16 inch nut driver, take out the two screws from the back of the top panel. Slide the panel back and lift it off the washer. Pull out the dispenser drawer, press down the tab and remove the drawer. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the three screws that hold the dispenser housing. Slide it out of the control panel. Leave the top edge of the control panel to undo the clips. Open the door and tilt the panel towards you to disengage the bottom clips. Disconnect the wire connector plug. Using the flat blade screwdriver, push on the tab and open the drain pump filter door. Remove the pump drain holes from the clip. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press the side tabs and remove the pump door and housing. Tilt the washer back on the support. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the two screws, one on each side, that holds the front panel to the bottom hinges. Put the washer upright and open the door. Using the flat blade screwdriver, pry off the door boot spring and remove it. Remove the boot seal from the loop and tuck it inside. Next, remove the three Phillips screws that hold the door latch assembly and push the assembly inside. Four more Phillips screws from the top of the front panel should go out. Leave the front panel up and off the two tabs on the top and rotate it towards you. Free the holes from the retainers on the left. Leave the front panel off the bottom hinges and take it out of the way. Using the pliers, slide the two clamps and remove the hoses. Using the Phillips screwdriver, loosen up the clamp by turning the screw clockwise at the top of the seal, slide the clamp and take the large holes off. Using the Phillips screwdriver, loosen up the clamp by turning the screw clockwise and then remove the inner clamp. Remove the boot seal from the top lip. Wow. 
This is the old door boot seal next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Now to ensure the proper installation of the new boot seal, we need to remove the counterweights. We'll start with the taking out the top one. I'm using a 13 millimeter socket wrench. To get to the other ones, I need to push this down. And pull this off. It's not too heavy. And now, you guessed right, I'm going to remove the lower counterweight. Then we can pull the lower counterweight off. Alright, now we're going to start the installation of the new door boot seal. We need to match this arrow on the seal with the arrow on the top and start installing it from the top. I'm going to put this that leap over the top leap. Just all around. Just be patient. Don't rush. It's very important. You don't make any mistakes. The seal has to go into the groove. After you're done, I want you to do the visual. You have to look around, all around the seal and make sure it's in all the way. Okay, now I'm going to put the inner boot seal clamp on. Make sure it's in the groove all the way. And now we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver and tighten that. Uh, pay attention. To tighten it, we need to turn it counterclockwise, unscrewing that screw. Now we're going to test how good we did our work. Just pull on the seal, see if you can take it off. Well, congratulations, we did a good job. Next, we're going to put on the counterweights. We start with the bottom one. So put it first on the pin and slide it on. And then we can secure it with the three 13 millimeter bolts. And we're using a 13 millimeter socket wrench. Next comes the top counterweight. Again, put it on the pulse here. I'm sorry, wrong hole. And on the one right there on the left. Okay. And secure it with the 13 millimeter bolts. Socket wrench. To get to the third one. I'm going to just put my weight on the bottom counter counterweight. All right, now we're going to connect the three hoses to the door boot seal. The first one, then we're going to go for the large one. Slide the clamp down. And the last one. Using pliers, we're going to slide two clamps to secure two hoses here. And then using the Phillips screwdriver, we're going to tighten this clamp. 
again reminding you we're gonna turn it counterclockwise not clockwise bring the front panel and install it on the two bottom hinges place the holes on the left in the two retainers Push to close the front panel. Secure with the four Phillips screws at the top. Install the door latch assembly and secure to the three Phillips screws. Right now, I'm going to pull out the door boot seal. And place the boot seal over the lip here. And go around. Tack it in. Now we can put the outer clamp in the groove with the spring at six o'clock. Lock the wise grip right next to the spring. Jam the flat bicycle driver right there, approximately at three o'clock. And pull on the spring and install the clamp in the groove. Check it visually all around the seal. Pulling it to make sure it's not going to come off. All right, looks like we did a good job here. We can close the door. Tilt the washer back on the support and secure the front panel with the two Phillips screws at the bottom hinges, one on each side. Put the washer upright. Get down and install the drain filter door housing. Make sure the hose in the hole and push the housing in to lock the tabs. Install the hose into the retainer and close the filter door. Let's bring the control panel to the washer and connect the wire plug. Install the bottom clips into the openings, lift up the panel and lock the top clips. Install the detergent dispenser housing and secure with the three Phillips screws. Slide in the drawer. Close the top, slide it forward to lock. and secure with the 5 16 screws from the back. Plug the washer in and run it to check if it works properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.